<laughs> we don't know. What's the matter? He, he saw us. Oh, wait. <laughs> hey, tough. I see you. It is still my duty to protect the Ooh. peace and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Taking out the hunter's path on him? He ain't playing around. He's taking out the signature weapon. He rolled for that. Everything's fine. He's sound asleep. Oh, that's good. So, you think this is over? Oh my god. Thank god he wasn't colored in. Jesus. The balladeer? What? The balladeer is here? This looks, this looks crazy. <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. <laughs> oh man, this is freaking crazy. <laughs> Come on, shut up. <laughs> please stay quiet for now. Exactly, please. It will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. Hmm, yeah, newly bona fide god. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Dang, don't insult her. Hey, you're acting more friendly than usual, or am I mistaken? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Which is why I'm <laughs> talking to you like this. Yeah. My entire life up until this oh, point shoot. has just been a meaningless routine. It was just flying in midair for a second. The different, um, what the? <laughs> oh, no, when, did, when did this happen? Instantly? <sighs> this okay. Sunlight is... <laughs> oh. Guess I'll sit still for a little while longer. Just lay down. Stop sitting upright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Breach. I'll have him fight. I'll have him. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Coming into the hawk. Oh, shoot. Hey, what? Where's the old one? Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Traitor. You traitor! <laughs> Even what? the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Althatham? Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. Azar! Bro. Come on, you can stop them. He has gone completely insane. Oh, God. You stab him or just hit him? Take him to the Matra and exile him to Aru village. Then find someone to take these two to the confinement room. I'll deal with them later. Things were going so well. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. What the hell was the plan? What happened? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What is going on? What what's the actual plan here? Hi, mom. I don't know. I thought I knew, and I don't. Are we doing? Oh shoot, traveler! Didn't see that one coming. Oh my gosh, he speaks. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, she isn't reacting. She's like, uh, she can't sense me. Nice sensor. Poor Nahida. When did it first start? Oh, right. 
it started from the moment I was born. Oh no. Oh, that's not gonna be good. I kept looking for a way to save Vermin Soul. Oh no. So I can catch up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukutavata. Uh. But I'm stuck in the sanctuary of Sarasthana. The sages are creating a god to replace me. Oh my gosh. I'm, yeah, like imagine how she feels. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. God, just give this girl a break. Nahida! Nahida! Love the voice lines, finally. Oh, shoot. Windblade. Yeah, I can't really... The voice... Yeah, she killed it. She absolutely killed it. Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Oh my gosh. What? Huh? Since you're the god of wisdom, you've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning, haven't Bro, you? Bro, I love how they're actually voicing this. Oh my gosh. Who are you? Whose voice is that? It sounds familiar. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was the traveler speaking for a second. Nahida! Break it. Oh, nice. That was Ruka Devada's voice? This sound different. Uh, uh, My god. You've, she's awoken. Nahida? Can I, can I leave and just, uh, oh, oh, no, no, they knew, they knew, they knew. This looks really clean though. Like just the mat with nothing on it. They literally knew I'm free. This isn't the way oh. to the academia. Better stick. Oh no. Wait, how far is this back? Yeah, I think I was going to say it's going to heat a... Oh. Going to perform right here? Oh, shoot. getting the attention everybody i've never seen a performance like this this is incredible yeah but i heard that public performances like these have been banned i can't believe she's doing this here <laughs> wow grand sage there's some commotion outside <laughs> how uninteresting issue the new prohibition act from the akasha to the guards they'll know what to do You think we should like stop her? <laughs> Let's just watch for a little bit longer. Oh, translation. So, you think we should stop her? Ah, nah. Hey, watch it. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I thought he issued them to stop her. Did I, did I miss the dialogue at the bottom? <laughs> this outfit. <laughs> oh, no, that's what I literally said. I said, wait a minute. She said... The guards never see Kusnai before, and then she talked about Esau, and I was like, wait, 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 
Does that mean? Yeah. Bro, <laughs> this is... This quest is ridiculous. Oh my god. Like, an uh, outfit change? You never see an outfit change, especially for NPCs. Nahida at home. Hey, do you remember what oh you do, Isak? When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them. It's so true. I haven't even seen her. They wouldn't even know. Oh my god, this is too good. They are just... They are so oblivious, the sages. Or just uh, the whole... the whole thing. Bro, I got it to the T. They got the flowers. I got the little gauntlet on the end. The, on the wrist. Oh my god. Relax. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, it's just... I thought I was playing as him for a second. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? Uh oh. Mm, this is different from our plan. But there's no. Oh shoot. Make. I need to make a choice. Uh on house. I guess in a way we are playing. This is just unbelievable. Yep, wind trace. The wind trace music's playing. Once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how about judgment in the name of a god? Oh boy. <gasps> the trailer. It ruined it. <laughs> She's finally free. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, he's like in a deep sleep. She awaken him? Who would have thought? would be so eager for my birth it's not I remember you boor the god of wisdom and standing beside you the traveler is like her demon name powerful now like greater lord ruka devada no i can't feel the same kind of divinity i felt from the greater lord it seems that the sages didn't get the chance to infuse the divine knowledge capsules into him this is not as strong still. He has undoubtedly become a true god now. So we're too late? The Balladeer has already... already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. <laughs> when my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. No. Oh, that was a cool intro. With the name on the side. It really feels like gods. Oh man. He just got like he literally just threw his old names in the trash right there. Baldir didn't like it anymore. And uh Kunikujisi just feels small and ugly. Oh. Come. Let us reenact a scene of the Archon War. Come and inaugurate my birth as a god. You don't even know. Oh god, here comes the music. Oh god. Oh dude, Terror. this is actually kind of scary up close, like actually playing it. He's freaking huge. Oh God! All right, what do we do? <laughs> you shall fall! Oh God! What even is going on? Oh! Oh, I can just damage him. I was listening to the live stream. <laughs> Oh God! Dang, Lamin is strong. <laughs> this reminds me of Child once again. Like a, a, the same cutscene.
where did you get legs from oh oh my god dude holy crap this is so epic jesus god i can't even see i can't even see him on my screen that's how tall he is Not just like some some musher. What it look like? This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal, and now you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? Oh my! The collection is almost complete. Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? Oh my god! Oh my god! And you said you can't fight. We just concluded the 168th loop. What? Did you know that in the effort to create you, the people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles? The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? Oh, God. You can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? <laughs> Come, traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. He is mad. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've this is crazy. I've that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. Oh. The power of everyone. The power of friendship. It all comes together. Now, all of Sumeru's wisdom is at your disposal. Meaningless tricks won't save you. Oh, we are underground. They didn't show Dea, yeah. Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? I'll leave this to you. <laughs> so First no, basically. <laughs> a boar. Oh god. A so. eons, mine. Oh, and Nahida. Nice. So Nahida pulled uh, Itachi to Kabuto, basically, right there. Spirit bomb. 
Uh. Oh, wait. What, what do we do now? Destroy. Oh. Oh, I'm not too sure. I have note that says. <laughs> what? Your new god awakens. Achievement. That was on purpose. Humans. That's all you got? Filthy humans. The Gnosis. No. Wait. Please. Anything but the Gnosis. Look at him freaking out. Look at him. That's how mine. desperate he is. Don't so even desperate. Try. I'll never. I'll never go back. He's so desperate. Oh, what's well, gonna catch him? Dang. We haven't yet found the answer to the most important mystery. Ermin's soul is still waiting to be saved. With the power of another Gnosis, we may now finally understand the last memory of Greater Lord Rukadavata. The bishop piece? Oh, shoot. This is... That's right. This is the last memory of my predecessor. Ooh. No, show me. Show me. It kind of looks good. Like, it looks like it's... Uh... Never mind. We're back. Like one of the first things we saw when we walked in the sim room. The one standing over there is. Wait. Oh, hold on. Maybe we were all right with our theory. Is that? Mm -hmm. She looks exactly like me. Are you Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes, that's me. <gasps> Are you surprised by my appearance? Come to think of it, the sages never had the faintest inkling of the meaning of wisdom. Yo, that might be the truest thing Paimon has ever said. That might be the truest thing. I gotta take a picture of this. That might be the realest thing she's e ever said. Let the world completely forget me. There it is. That's what we were looking for ever since the beginning. Oh no. We all nestle under the great tree of wisdom, peering out to perceive the world. From the earth and from the rain, we perceive its wonders until we become a white bird to perch atop a branch and finally snap off the most important leaf. Oh. Once upon a time, There's her I hug. alone dreamed in this world. In my dreams, everybody would also dream after they fell asleep. Wild and wonderful thoughts would emerge from their minds. Some tumbled to the ground, and others floated to the sky. Connecting all things in the world into one dazzling net. Among a plethora of worlds were numerous smaller worlds, all of fate finding within the tapestry their brilliant glow. I gradually understood that these indescribable and constantly changing things are the most profound things in the world. Only they can completely repel the madness. No. Only dreams 
can awaken consciousness from the deepest darkness. Damn, man. Gosh. At least it was for a good cause. I'm the one who posed this question, yet also the one who sought a solution. Saving the world with the dreams of the people used to be my answer. And now, you've also found your own answer. And I shall return all the dreams to the people. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Howie. Goodbye. Elazar. May you be blessed tonight with the sweetest of dreams. Oh, man. It's such a good thing, but the payoff is just so sad. Oh, man. I mean, she wasn't wrong, man. What she did was absolutely worth doing. If it got too far, to the, the, all of the back could have been ruined. The heck is happening right now? I feel super sleepy. No! I totally forgot about him. Oh no. That sound. Traveler. Paimon. That was their ploy. They took your focus out off of that. I totally forgot about him. I've been waiting here far too long. But finally I have the chance to be alone with you. All the precious time I wasted has finally paid off. Oh god. As soon as I heard footsteps, I was like, who? 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 Didn't even think. The doctor. What have you done? I heard you had already left Sumeru. Why are you here again now? I left Sumeru, but I also stayed in Sumeru. The clones? There are many different versions of you in this world. God, I didn't even think that through. What if I were to destroy the Gnosis now? and awaken the heavenly principles. Awaken the heavenly principles? Now nah, he's like intrigued. He's like, he's like, wait, oh, that might be a cool experiment. Like, shh, oh. Hmm. I see. If you think all those versions of me are worth a gnosis, then deal. What? My check. What a ridiculous decision. Sheer you can't be serious. How could I have been you so short-sighted? You think this is all his clones? Wait, I'll have a bit. You'll make Good this moment count. You, you will regret this. Well, have you confirmed that it's complete? Hey, I was joking when I said do it right here, right now. He did. Another chess piece. And where is your dendronosis? We'll take both. Don't be greedy, Harbinger of Snezhnaya. This is just Avengers Infinity War in any game. Like, if the Thanos is the Harbingers. He's going to get all the Infinity Stones, the Gnosis. And there's going to have a big battle at the end. Have you, in all your mighty knowledge, ever heard the rumor that the skies of Tevat are fake? Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this knowledge is kind of worth knowing about. Oh! C6 Traveler, let's go! Right when Nahida came out. God damn it. Now that I've recovered from Elizar, I'm feeling better than ever. Let's I go! I can even prepare four or five meals a day now. Oh, and uh, Dunya's ad too. Here we <gasps> No oh, shot. should be around here somewhere, right? Just put down that worthless book and tell me what happened in the academia. Oh my gosh. I have no, we have really barely any idea about Kaveh. He definitely looks like he's like rich or something, like for sure. Yeah, it looks good. I can already see the arguments between them two. <laughs> How much you want to bet what rarity Kaveh is? 
Akave. I'll be honest, he looks his design looks really good, but he looks like a forest star to me. <laughs> oh god, bro. That scared the mess out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, oh well, I guess we don't really get I guess we gotta wait till later. I I wanna know like why I like I said, I guess it kinda was a spoiler how they showed the drip marketing, because I wanna know how he turned into animo. I guess when he wakes up He'll just have a change of heart, I guess, or we'll find out. I don't know. Well, there's a Chief Justice in Fontaine. Generally speaking, the Hydra Archon, Fossilor, won't preside over individual trials. Uh, excuse me, what? Fossilor? The Hydra Archon, Fossilor? She said Fossilor, but it says Fossilor. It's like plural. However, even then, Fossilor will still make herself present at just about every nope. trial. But that's it her name? Seems that she just likes to immerse herself in that sort of atmosphere. Fossilor. Where are they having an S? Maybe it's a translation issue. Are you sure? Isn't there something else you haven't asked about yet? Yeah, how does he get his vision? Huh? <laughs> you mean about your brother? Oh, thank you. There you go. I was like, what? I was like, that's the whole reason we came here. Hmm. Yeah, actually a useful Archon, finally. Somebody who actually knows. The Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the Descenders. Descenders? What's a Descender? Paimon's never heard of it. Traveler, you are Tavat's fourth Descender. Um, excuse me? The fourth Descenders. That's a whole other thing to learn about. <laughs> the Descenders. <laughs> <laughs> Aloy, yeah. It was actually Aloy all along. Aloy is one of the descenders. If we get an Aloy story quest, Miko, Yumiya. Oh, there it is. I admire her humility. It is a sign of true wisdom. With the power she holds, wisdom Umar is capable of doing many things beyond our wildest imaginations. And yet. She uses her power only to right wrongs and to protect. She is a truly gentle god. I wonder how Ryden even knows about her. I feel like Ryden wouldn't even care. The first thing you think of when you hear Dendro Archon is her power over dreams. Her dreams are akin to my ballads, full of emotion and imagination. <laughs> it goes without saying that we get along really well. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could see Venti and her getting along. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have Zhongli, but if I did, I would look at that one, too. Holy moly. Looks huge, too. It is. So green. This looks really good. In my opinion, that was the best Archon Quest to date. The pacing was so on par. Everything made sense. Everything led up to the next step. Everything just literally all came together. I mean, all the way from the beginning, from meeting Tainari and seeing Hypatia and her in her dream state, all the way to Hypatia nearly being taken away by the Fatui, you know, and her just being like a super fan of Scaramouche. Like, I mean, we can go through the whole thing, man, but I just gotta say, this was the best one by far, you know? Um, going back to like Inazuma, for some reason they put like Ayaka's and Yoimiya's story quest within the Archon, it was really weird. That did not happen with Sumeru. It was just all focused on the main task at hand. And just, I mean, Act 5 was just literally like a movie, like an actual movie, you know, from start to finish. All the details came together. They told you what the plan was without telling you, you know, like they basically were about to tell you, but they had a, they had a black screen. So you didn't know what the plan was at all until they kind of told you it later on, but they told you it after you did it. So you as the player were kind of shocked, you know, like for me, with Alhatham losing his mind, I thought the plan was going left. You know, I was like, uh oh, like everything was going so well, what happened? But then he smiles and it's like, oh, that was actually a part of the plan, you know? So super good. Best part was Isak <laughs> disguising himself as Kusanali. That was my favorite part. Um, of course, the extremely sad part with Ruka Devada, 
you know like the payout was definitely worth it essentially you were saving the world um but you know of course the sacrifice had to be her unfortunately that was the whole world forget me thing we were talking about ever since the beginning of course there was the scaramouche battle um the music is insane i mean insane it's like opera singer singing in the background just like the bass and you know like the hi-hats and the music like i mean the music was so good for scaramouche the boss fight it made sense in terms of how we had to fight him um but of course you know as a player you always want to you know use your characters and your artifacts and stuff like that and fight the boss but you don't really get a chance to do that too much in this one um there are openings where you can but you know it's very heavily mechanic based so i still feel like it was a pretty good fight for sure you know i mean just aesthetically the guy's giant you know and of course the scene where sky moose loses the nosy or the gnosis and um just seeing how desperate he was you know for it was just like you feel bad you know and I do feel bad for Scarmouche because no one ever just sat him down and talked to him. And that's all it takes. He's just confused and he just needs someone to talk to him. You know, if someone could just talk to him and like, you know, get this through his head. Like, hey, man, you know, you don't really understand the, the things that are happening. Someone just needs to just relay that to him, you know. But until someone does, he's going to keep on going on this tangent. So felt bad for Scarmouche. Um, felt bad for Nahida for all the pain she's went through. But in the end, everything worked out. We probably did the most beneficial thing when it comes to Sumeru, um, just in terms of like saving to that. And then last but not least, uh, Nahida taught us about our brother. Finally, someone taught us about our brother. It's about time. And then she also us about the descendants and that Lumine is one of them. And also mentions the Hydro Archon and not her official name, but like one of her titles. More like, you know, how Zhongli is Morax and Venti's Barbados. Um, A is Ball. And then, of course, Nahida is Bure. Folklore, I think, is one of those kind of names. Not her actual name, like Zhongli. But that'll do it for me. Love the Archon Quest so much. It was so good. Let me know if you guys actually want to see the entirety of the Archon Quest, like in full, or if you're okay with just this little highlight reel. But I can do that if you guys want. Either way, I wish you guys the best of luck, and I will catch you guys in the next one.